Hey guys, it's the Good Hearted 789 here, and it's been a while since I've brought you a real life video. Uh, pardon me for the mic quality right now. Uh, I am using the standard mic built into this little tiny kind of flip cam knockoff made by Kodak. Uh, mind you, it is 1080p though, so the video should look nice. Um, anyway, I decided since I just received 16 gigabytes of RAM from OWC that I ordered, uh, I would show all of you who uh, are unable to Google or look at a more popular video of how to install RAM onto your 2010 or later iMac. What you're going to start by doing is you're going to remove the three screws on the bottom of the iMac located between the two speaker housings. One thing you may notice first off is that these screws are actually attached to the housing. So these aren't going to fall out and you're not going to lose them, which is very convenient. As you can see right here, we actually have the housing for the RAM. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I only have two out of four, which are here and here. In order to remove the RAM, what you need to do is you need to take this little black flap right here and you need to get a firm grip on the iMac itself and pull it until the card comes out. Sorry, kind of dusty. Um, so yeah, out comes the RAM. Here is the old RAM. And that's going to go over here. And you're just going to go ahead and do the same thing for the next one. Now I had this problem. Not sure if I, st uh, I, I had this problem where the next one is a bit tougher to get out. Now not all of you may have this problem, but if you do, just keep pulling. Don't worry about it. Also, something to remember as a side note: make sure you take note of where this bit is coming out, because if you turn it the other way around, then you're going to be screwed. So make sure you take note of which side to go up and. In goes the new RAM. So you want to make, make sure you get that flap out of the way. Make sure you get it in the right slot with that little divot in the correct area. And all you need to do is just give it a good shove. That's what she said. And make sure it's in there nice and good. Then you're going to tuck this up there like that. Oh, wait a minute. I'm stupid. Okay. Then, in goes the second card. Right underneath it. Like so. Just like that. Again, make sure you get it good and in, in there. It's a bit difficult at times. But sometimes you gotta force it in like that. And then when you do, you take the flap and just get it right above the top sheet of RAM. Like so. Then you just gotta do the same for the other side. Once all is said and done, all you gotta do is line up these three screws again and just screw them back in. It's as simple as that. And that's all you gotta do. Thanks for watching, guys.